Hello and welcome to Printmaking Without a Press. Ta -da! Today we're going to use a soft cut lino as opposed to the hard grey or brown lino that you have to heat up on a hot plate or a radiator. This you don't need to do, you can just go straight into it. I have a design on there that I'm going to use. I've got some good tools uh, which is a very fine gauge of number one which cuts around the edge of an image. That's quite important, you use that a lot. I have a number two gouge, which is a medium sized gouge, and I do use that quite a lot. Uh, and a number three gouge here, which I do use a bit more than the number two and the number one. This is especially something this size, you're clearing out the background. You're going to make a nice deep cut around the edge of the image, and uh, clear out everything else. I also use two Sharpies, possibly uh, an ultra fine one here, or a fine one if you can't get hold of the ultra fine. It's very important because you draw around the image once you've decided what you're gonna do with a felt tip pen and you cut around it and you can see more easily how it's gonna look when you ink it up. Now I'm going to start cutting around the image as I've put felt tip around the edges. So I'm going in with my finest gouge and I'm going to cut right to the edge of the image, like so. Pushing away from me and keeping your hands behind the cutter. Now, I think you can see uh, that I have here taken away all the background but left a surface on which the ink can sit. So I have to decide, obviously the birds I want to be in silhouette, but what do I do about the moon and the star? They're obviously meant to be lighter, so then I should perhaps take away the inner part of the moon, leaving an outline around the edge and the same for the star. So I'm going to do that 